Hey, what's up? Jason Young, Improvement Warrior Fitness, LBN Online Fitness. Welcome back in the studio, Hilliard, Ohio. I wanted to make a quick video showing you going over uh, torque, creating torque in the shoulders. All right, so the reason we want to create torque is to create the most stability in our shoulders so we keep our shoulders nice and safe. Basically, how to create tension in your shoulders, stability in your shoulders, torque in your shoulders, okay, it's all the same stuff, is, and we'll do the push-up first, and then we'll show you the other exercises um, later. But basically, you're going to be in the push-up position, you're going to screw your hands into the floor, all right, your hands won't move like they are now, okay, so we want to shoot the elbow pits, this pit right here, we want to shoot it forward, okay. So, basically you'll set up in push-up position, hands shoulder width apart, okay, you'll be here, you'll come up, screw your hands in the floor, and then you're coming down. So, watch my elbows here, so I'm turning my elbows back, the elbow pits are coming forward, alright, that's going to lock the shoulders in place, it's not going to allow my shoulder to come out in a bad position, it'll keep me locked in a good position. So it'll save my elbows, it'll save my wrists, it'll save my shoulders, obviously. Okay, so then you're gonna come down as low as you can. Okay, you wanna try and get your forearms as close to parallel as you can. You're squeezing your butt, so you're going through a bracing sequence. Butt tight, abs tight. Okay, everything nice and straight. Okay, and then turning your hands out as you go. So an up close view, Right here, you want to keep your hands straight, all right, and you're screwing your hands in the floor. So you're basically trying to spread the floor apart. So you're always going with your right hand, you're going to your pinky side, and your left hand, you're going to your pinky side. So you're always turning towards your pinky hand, or your pinky finger, okay? And then you turn out. See, my hand is not moving, I'm just creating that torque. So my elbow pits are turning forward, all right? You don't want to turn your hand out like this because you can't create any torque there. So this is an open-handed torque test. So if you turn your hands out to the side like this, you can't really put any torque or very, very little torque and stability into your shoulders. Okay, It feels very weird here Okay, and actually hurts my wrist. I can't go all the way down doing it like that. Okay, So you want to have your hands straight Screw your hands into the floor, then set up, feet go back, go through the bracing sequence, squeeze your butt, squeeze your abs, and then you're coming down, and then you're coming up. If you don't create torque, notice how my elbows are flared out right here, okay? I come down, my elbows go out to the side, okay? That's putting a lot of tension on the elbows, okay? And it's also bad for the shoulders. Some people will have their Shoulders, all elbows all the way out there, shoulders out here, now come down, boom, all right? You can't do that consistently over, over, over again, over a period of months, period of years. You'll eventually get injured. So we need to keep the shoulders nice and stable, create that torque, so we stay safe, injury-free, and all that good stuff. So training is a lifetime endeavor. All right, and I want you to be working out forever.